What's going on guys? My OBD11 device just came. Just came in the mail. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get started. Start doing some, not modding I guess, but just want to get a look here. So you want it to go under the car and there's the port there. So we are going to go. Okay guys, so everything is set up. Once you get the OBD, um, so Whoops, that was updating. So you have to hit that and let it update. Probably shouldn't take too long. So yeah, while it's waiting, like I said, just keep your car off. Um, I usually just turn my infotainment system off and yeah, let's do its thing. All right, so we are done. Hit okay. So I'm just gonna ask you to create a password. Okay guys, so obd 11s finally hooked up, everything's good. Uh, I got some credits here now, everything's fine. So we're going to go back to car, and we're going to go to apps. Okay, so if we go over here, so I did one just to test it out. I did the window function from, from remote. I think it's right, right here. So as you see here, it's set to on, everything's good. You just gotta make sure you go into the head unit here. And we'll turn that on. Okay. Then you're gonna wanna go to opening and closing. Uh, window operation convenience. Just make sure you could change it to all windows, driver window or off. Once that's set, There you go. Roof opens up as well. And as soon as you let go, it'll they'll stay where they are. See, all windows are down. And when you want to close them, you just press the lock. Hold it. I love that feature. So that is beautiful. I want to go right here. Central lock with ignition. That's cost 10 credits. So basically you can activate the central locking with key when ignition is on or engine running. So that I do want to do. So we're going to select on. We're going to hold down the, the check mark here. And there you go. Success. So now that the ignition's on, as you can see, I will now be able to use my key fob. So let's try it now. Yep. Lock. Perfect. Everything works perfectly. Okay. Beautiful. So that's perfect. So when you want to, um, you know, if you want in the morning, say, leave your car running and uh, you want to like go back in the house or do whatever. Look at that. You're fine. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. So that is really good. Let's see what other, uh, stuff we could do here everything's good okay beautiful so everything saves it looks like um, sound actor could turn that off I don't know I'm not too I don't mind it too much maybe I'll wait oh so DRL 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 settings in head unit Oh, make sure ignition is turned on. Okay. So we'll try again. I don't know. Maybe we'll turn that on. Why not? Okay. So let's go back to the settings. So there should be DRL settings now. Oh yeah, daytime running lights. So you do have that setting. So, okay. all right. So ready, set. See that? So that's cool. Uh, you could do Scandinavian DRLs, so you could have your DRLs on uh, when your daytimes are on. Uh, let's see. Oh yes, heated seats, memory. 
So you must have the climb uh, tronic, whatever that thing, automatic uh, climbing. So let's do on. Success. Beautiful. So we have that now. Let's see what else we could get. That's some golfer stuff. Throttle pedal response. Increase response speed of your throttle pedal. Let's try it. Responsive. Success. Nice. So we'll try that. Coming home. Activate automatic coming home lights. Yeah, I have that already, so we'll leave that. Lane assist vib uh, wheel vibration. Active lane assist wheel vibration settings in MIB unit. So we'll do adjustable via MIB. Nice, so it should be in here now. So we'll go to settings. Uh, I guess it would be under assist. Yep, lane keep assist, vibration. Nice, so you can turn it on or off, so that's pretty cool now. Beautiful. So if I don't like it, I could turn it off. So we'll try that after as well. And what I'll do is I'll report how everything works for you guys, just to make sure um, everything's good. Beautiful. Let's keep it going. Start, stop, deactivation. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. I'm going to look more into that. I don't want anything because I know that's like a serious thing. I'm going to have to read into some of the stuff. Um, headlight washers, I guess, if your car has it. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what else we could find. Sorry, guys. I know the glare is pretty bad. I'll try and close that. So I did want to do... Uh, what else we got? Lap timer. I already have that. Okay, so we have the window function, central ignition lock, uh, refuel quantity. What's that? Enable refuel quantity option and instrument cluster. Okay. I don't know. Ah, enable fan speed when auto is enabled. So that's really what I want. Because I know when you put the um, when you put the climate on auto, you don't see what the fan speed is. So that's something I did want. So. I'm going to set that on. Success. Nice. So now when the system is on, let's give it a try here. So when we hit auto, there you go. It shows you what the speed is. Beautiful. So you can see the little lights in there. They do show you what the speed is. So beautiful. All right, let's keep this going. Let's see what else we could do here. Comfort turn signals. I think I already have that. Oh, you can adjust the cycle. So how many um, clicks? Because I have it right now. So if I if I tap it, it'll go three times. So this you could change it from like three to four to five. So that's pretty cool. I don't really need that right now. Um... Auto folding mirrors. Oh, I want to do the mirror dip. What is this? CH. Go oh, coming home, leaving home lights function via low beam. Oh, okay. Oh, so you can leave your fogs on too. Instead of just your... Uh... Oh, sure, let's do fog lights. Success. 
Nice. So now when um, you turn the car off, your fog lights will stay on as well until the everything shuts off. Mirror dip. Here we go. This is what I want it to do. So let's switch that to on. Success. Very nice. So now when you throw the car into reverse, um, they will dip. So let's give that a try. R. So only the passenger mirror dips. I thought it was all mirrors, but just the passenger one, because that's what you want to see most. So I'm going to put it into reverse. And you see it dips perfectly. So if you're pulling up to a curb or whatever, and you don't want to um, obviously hit the curb, that's what that's, uh, it's going to come in useful. And then once you hit, I believe it's like 15 kilometers, it'll go back up to its normal and state. I didn't know that this actually works, the ambient colors works with, um, even if you don't have the digital cockpit, you could still change the color. So as you see there, um, the color display there, it's blue. And then also here, the multimedia. So you could change the multimedia colors at least. So that's pretty neat. Um, so yeah, so you just go into here, settings. You now have an ambient lighting uh, tab. So here, and I did the 30 colors, and you could change the color. So as you see, you could go to white, that's the GTI red that I'm used to. Then you could go to like pink, purple, blue, green. So say I wanna have green, everything shows up green, even like the little uh, circles green uh, radio here. Everything's got the green stri strips and it shows up green there. So that's really cool. I mean, it's not a big thing, right? But it's the little things. All right, guys. So that is that. We will see you in the next video. Peace.